Hi guys, today's video is all about the upcoming Sephora sale in America. About 70-75% of my subscribers are from America, so I thought I would do a video on that and I've had a look at the Sephora site to see what you guys have available over there and I'm very jealous. Now we do have a Sephora here in New Zealand, but we don't carry the range that you guys do over there. A lot of the products I can get here, but they're available from a different place. It's called Mecca Beauty. Now, Mecca Beauty carry a lot of luxury brands, but they don't often have a sale. And when they do, it's not for the most sought after products. It tends to be, well, I feel that sometimes it's geared more towards things that aren't selling that well and just things that they want to get rid of. The Sephora here in New Zealand is a lot more generous with their sales. And I would say we have a sale probably every, sometimes it seems every six weeks or it's at least every two or three months. So the Sephora sale in the United States is running from the 28th of October through to the 7th of November. And you have three levels over there. The Rouge level being the top and then the VIB, the middle. And then the bottom tier is the Insider. Sephora here in New Zealand has three levels as well, but they're just called different names. And with the Rouge level, you get 20% off and that starts from the 28th of October. And then VIB starts from November the 1st, which is then 15% off. And the Insider level, that starts from November the 3rd and that has 10% off and I understand that that's pretty standard when Sephora over there have a sale. So I'm going to start off with primer and I'm going to use the Hourglass It's the Vanish Airbrush Primer. When this was released earlier this year I did a dedicated video on this and I love it. This is my second bottle, that's how much I use it. This one and the Tom Ford Primer are probably the two ones that I use the most. So what I do is just put one pump of this on my fingers and then I just dot it around my face and it feels really beautiful going on. Those of you that haven't seen my videos before, I am 53 years old and I also have really oily skin. It is heading towards summer here in New Zealand. We're now in the middle of spring and the temperatures are definitely a lot warmer than they were a few weeks ago. And with my oily skin, if it was the middle of summer and I was doing this video, I would probably have started off with this product. And this one here is the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I also use this to wet my brushes if I want a bit more payoff with my eyeshadows. But with my oily skin, I find that I can get a foundation to stay put all day by spraying this on first, then putting on my primer. So I would have put this on first, then I would have gone in with the hourglass and then I would start applying my foundation. But what I'll do is I'll use this as my last step today and possibly for my eyeshadow as well if I want a bit more payoff. And for the foundation today, I'm going to use the NARS one. This was released this year as well. It's the Light Reflecting Foundation. I think this is a really lovely foundation. This is in the shade Santa Fe. So I just put doesn't come out in big pumps so I'm going to put two pumps of this on the back of my hand and I'm going to put this on with a beauty blender. The beauty blender is one of the items that I do pick up when there's a sale here in Sephora New Zealand because they do sell the beauty blenders here and I do use these quite a bit especially more Probably in the summer when I'm using a more matte foundation, although I use them for any foundation. And I also like using them with cushion foundations as well. They are really good. They tend to just push the product in and just give that little bit more of a flawless look. And they can also sometimes give a bit more of a sheer coverage if that's what you're after as well. And I like getting backups of these when there's a sale on. So when this foundation first came out, I did a dedicated video on it and I also showed this foundation in natural light as well. So if I remember while I'm editing, I will put a link up to that video. I'll just put it up here if you want to take a look at that. But this is a really lovely foundation. And for my concealer today, I'm going to use the fairly newly released, it's a Charlotte Tilbury 
the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. This one is a little bit light for me. I'm just having a look what shade I got. This is in 6 Medium, and I did a video on this as well, and I did it side by side, the newly released Bobbi Brown one. And when I reviewed both of them together, I did think that this one gave a slightly better finish. It just looks a little bit more luminizing under the eye and a little bit more moisturizing as well. And recently I also picked up the Chanel Sublimage Concealer. It's a brand new released one and I absolutely love that. And that is my number one concealer. But this is also a really lovely concealer as well. It's just that I don't think it gives quite the same coverage that the Sublimage gives. So what I've done is I just used the excess foundation that was on my Beauty Blender and just patted that under my eye. And now I'm just going to go in with the concealer. So I just use just a little bit and just put it in each corner. Then I'm just going to take the Sonia G, this is a soft concealer. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Brow Wiz. I used to use this all the time until I purchased the Chanel Eyebrow One. And this is the one really that I do use every day. And I love it so much because I just love the shade. The shade is in Bron Clear. And I just think it's the perfect shade. This one is in the shade. This is in medium brown. And it's okay. But I perhaps think it's a little bit too dark for me. I do like the spoolies on these. They're quite small. And they're also quite firm as well. So you're able to tidy up your brows really well. And I haven't used this in quite a long time, this pencil, but as I was saying, before I discovered the Chanel one and that shade that I really love, I did use this all the time. So hopefully I'll still be able to use it okay. I'm not quite sure how old this one would be, probably about a year, a year and a half old, and it seems to be going on okay still. I'm not super fussy with my brows. I really just like to fill in if there's any gaps. I don't really reshape them in any way. I just like them to be tidy. And then I always reach for the benefit. This is the 24 hour brow setter. I have a backup of this. I think this is a really great eyebrow gel. It sets them down, it lasts all day and it doesn't leave your eyebrows feeling really crunchy or anything like that. So when there's a sale here at Sephora, because they do sell benefit at Sephora here, this is one of the items that I do pop in the shopping cart because I always like to have a backup of it. And then I put on eyeshadow primer and I have to wear eyeshadow primer because I have oily skin and I also have oily eyelids. And if I don't wear a primer, then no eyeshadow is going to stay put. Now, the only eyeshadow primer that I do have is the MAC Paint Pot one. And this is in the shade Painterly. But I have heard that the NARS eyeshadow primer is very good. I haven't tried that myself. It's probably one that I should pick up and give it a go. And then I always set my primer down using the Makeup by Mario. This is the Master Eye and Prep Set, and this is in medium, and this is the shade that I use here. This is a brush that I always use. I think it's just because it's nice and fluffy. It's a Wayne Goss brush, and this is number 16. So I just have a little bit of powder, and it's just set that primer down. And to set my foundation down, I'm going to use the Hourglass. This is the Veil Translucent Powder. I have quite a few different setting powders. I think this one is really lovely. And I especially love the packaging on this because we have the lid closed and shake it to get out a little bit of powder. Not too much comes out at a time. It's quite controlled. So I'm just going to use my Lumia powder brush and just swirl it all in, the amount of powder that came out. And just set this foundation down. I think that this powder gives a really really beautiful finish and for powder under my eyes I'm going to use the Westman Atelier this is the Vital Press skincare powder this one and the By Terry Press powders are the two that I use for under my eyes they set the concealer down but they don't dry the under eye out and that's why I love them and I just put them on I just tap my finger in and just put a small amount on I just start in the corner 
and then just tap in the smallest amount and it sets down the concealer and both of these powders have humectants in them so they aren't too drying and I just think they're perfect for under the eyes especially when you have more mature skin we have fine lines and crinkles and wrinkles and you just don't want that area down there to be dry and even though I do have oily skin underneath my eyes I do want to keep it really moisturized now before I start putting on all my makeup all my skincare is done and I do make sure that I have moisturizer under my eyes as well so for bronzer I'm going to use the Guerlain ones these are beautiful I love these bronzers I nearly use them every single day I think they are just gorgeous and I'm going to use two I'm going to use a warm one and I'm going to use a cool one as well I think both together look really really beautiful so first of all I'm going to start with a warm one this one is 05 in deep warm and that's what this one looks like I think that these just go on so beautifully and they have a very slight sheen to them but it's very slight and it's very flattering on the skin these are fragrance they do have that distinctive Guerlain fragrance but I think it's really beautiful so I'm going to take the Sonia G this is the Niji Pro and go into the warm first and then I'm going to go into 04 and this is deep cool and let's go in a little bit easier with this one but I think both together just give a really beautiful beautiful sun-kissed look and for my eyeshadow today I'm going to use a Dior Quint and the one that I'm going to use is number 599 and this is new look and this is a really lovely just an everyday type of eyeshadow so I'll just be doing just a very soft everyday type of look so I'll take the Sony G this is the crease pro and I'm just going to go into this shade first then we'll take the ref 14 and I'll go into the shade here and I'll just put this in the outer corner I'm just going to take the Sony G this is a soft shader and I'll stay with the shade here and I'm going to run that under my lower lash line then we'll take the BK Beauty this is the A505 and I'm going to go into this shade here and I'm just going to put that just through here I'm going to take the BK Beauty, this is the 204, and I'm just going to stay with the shade. And I'm going to just run some just through here and just pop some in the inner corner as well. Then I'm just going to take the Sony G, this is the pencil one, and I'm going to go into the shade here. I'm only going to use a tiny bit of the shade just on the very outer corner. Now with my makeup brushes when I'm doing a video I will often say I've wiped down my brush in front of me and it's on a microfiber cloth and that's why I'm doing a video if I just want to take off a darker eyeshadow and use the brush to apply a different shade. But when I finish my videos or if I don't have time then I usually do it in the evening I do clean all the brushes that I have used that day and I use the Cinema Secrets and I do this in between deep cleans of my brushes and I know that some people pour the liquid either into the cap or these, these little tins that you can get and then dip the brush into that a lot of my brushes are natural fiber brushes and you do have to be really careful with them and I'm always worried that the product itself if you dip the brush into the liquid it will soak up through the bristles and up into the ferrule and I can't imagine that would be very good for your brush so what I do is I just tip some of this liquid onto my microfiber cloth and then I just very carefully just wipe the brush over and it just cleans the brushes beautifully 
and when Sephora New Zealand has a sale this is the type of product that I purchase as a backup I do have this in the really big container and then I just tip it into this one just because it's a bit easier to use but I think the Cinema Secrets is a really lovely product and I always make sure that I have some just to keep my brushes really clean for eyeliner I'm going to use a Gucci one this is in Chocolat and I find these eyeliners really good. I find that they don't transfer during the day and it's just fantastic for my oily lids. So this is the one that I'll use today. I'm going to just put a little bit on my upper lash line and I'll probably put a little bit on my lower lash line as well. For mascara today, I'm going to use the YSL. This is the Lash Clash Mascara and I heard quite a few people really raving about this mascara so I picked it up at a sale in Sephora here in New Zealand they had a sale about two or three weeks ago and I've been using it ever since I got it so I've been using it for at least two weeks and this is a really lovely mascara this is really volumizing it doesn't transfer or flake throughout the day the only thing with this mascara is that it does have quite a big brush so unless you're used to it it takes a little bit of getting used to so I'll hold it up so you can take a look so the brush on this is quite big but it does give really beautiful volume to the lashes and for blush today I was really spoilt for choice because there's been a couple of really lovely releases it was a really difficult decision today which one to use as blush because I love the new Gucci blushes that have been released I've got the one in rosy beige and I've also now got warm berry and I really love them both but in the end I decided on the new Natasha Denona one basically because you get three things in one with this palette you get the beautiful blush you get the cream topper that goes over the top of the blush and you can stop there with just those two if you just want a really subtle beautiful glow and if you want extra highlight then you can add this as well and I think the color of this blush is just really really stunning so I'm going to take this Sonia G this is the classic base one of her fusion brushes and go into the blush first this is a really really beautiful color I just think it's gorgeous and then I go into the glow cream base and I just put that all over the top and that just gives it that really beautiful sheen it's really subtle and I think just these two together are absolutely gorgeous and really I'm just happy with these two together without using the highlight but I will use the highlight today to show you what it's like and it's called the dream glow I'm going to put it on using a fairly small brush this is a raffer brush this is the number 27 so I'm just going to take a little bit of the highlighter and I'm just going to put but if you want a really wet look or a really big highlight there then you can certainly take a bigger brush or even put it on with your finger but I just think it's really pretty just a small amount there and I think it's really really pretty and for lipstick I was deciding whether to go with the new Natasha Denona one I think this is a beautiful beautiful shade and I wear this a lot this is actually sold out in New Zealand it was released about two or three weeks ago Sephora here in New Zealand and when I was looking at the site today it's actually sold out but it is a really beautiful just a nude natural everyday look but I decided to go with the Dior one this is the Dior Addict number 100 nude look and it does have this really beautiful packaging And then I'm just going to take the Charlotte Tilbury, the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And do about three or four sprays. And then that just needs to dry. So you can either wave your hands around. Some people have a fan. I grab my Dyson Airwrap and without any attachment on it. And I put 
both of the settings down, down to cool and lower speed. And let's turn it on and just dry it that way. And before I put my hair down for my final look, I'm actually going to put a perfume on today. And if you look into my background, I often have different fragrances on display. I'm just looking in the background now on my monitor and I've got some Chanel there. And I've also got some De Batik, and I think there's another Chanel as well. And I often swap the perfumes around because I also have quite a few Tom Ford perfumes. One of my more favorite perfumes that I tend to wear as more of a daytime one, and that is the Tom Ford Bitter Peach. And I noticed on the Sephora US website that they have this set available, and it comes in this box here, because we had it here in New Zealand, and I picked this up probably about, probably about four or five months ago now, but this is the box that it comes in. It is really sturdy. This would be a lovely present for yourself or a gift for someone else. And inside has the perfume Bit of Peach and it also has a travel spray as well. So both have really beautiful packaging. So here is up close of the Bit of Peach perfume in the square jar. And this is what the travel spray looks like. I think both of the packaging of both of the fragrances are really lovely. And the travel spray just has the pull off lid. It is magnetic. It is really sturdy packaging. It feels really beautiful. So I'm going to put some of this on now. And this has a bit of woodiness to it and sweetness and there's a little bit of citrus in it as well. I just think it's really, really gorgeous. And finally, I just wanted to talk a little bit about hair products. Now, I have in videos quite a long time ago when I first started my YouTube channel about a year and a half ago, I did some videos with my naturally curly hair. So those of you that have seen those videos, my hair is really, really curly. I don't really like wearing it as natural curls. I think I'm traumatized from being an 80s teenager when you just couldn't do anything with curly hair. And the only product that really I could put in it was this mousse that was crunchy and dry and yet managed to look wet all at the same time. It just wasn't a great time to be a teenager with curly hair in the 80s. So now I prefer it straightened and then I go in with a product to curl it as well. And these products I picked up last year, these styling products, and I would not be without them. I use all three. And that is the Dyson products. I have the Dyson Airwrap. I've got all three in this beautiful color that came out last year. This is the Prussian Blue and the Copper. So this is the Airwrap without the attachments on it. I've also got the Dyson hair dryer and I've also got the Dyson straightener as well. And I do have the straightener here with me because I do keep this in my room here. Now with my hair, what I do is I wash it about every third day, every second day or third day. I can't go longer than that because with my oily skin, I also have an oily scalp and it definitely needs washing, even though in between those times I do use a dry shampoo. So what I normally do is like tonight, it is due for washing. So I'll wash it tonight and then I'll dry it with the Dyson, the air dryer, or I can give it a blowout with the air wrap with a brush on it. But normally what I do is use the Dyson hair dryer and then I straighten it with the straighteners and then I just go to bed for the night. And then in the morning when I wake up, that's when I air wrap my hair and I will spray a heat protectant on it before I use the air wrap. And the one that I'm using at the moment, that's the All Bay, that's the universal hairspray. I also use All Bay shampoos and conditioners. And I also use Bumble and Bumble products as well. I think they are just really, really beautiful. And I love them for my hair. I think they keep my hair in really good condition. And I like that the air wrap gives a really beautiful curl. At the moment the curl has dropped out and I've 
done that on purpose. I have a couple of different styling products. One I can put on as I'm using the ear wrap and that will keep the initial curls in there and then put a hairspray on and that will last, make those curls last a lot longer. But often I do this. So I put the heat protectant in, then I do the ear wrap and let the curls sit and then cool down. And as the morning goes on, they just drop out. And I like it just like it is now. It just has volume in it and it's sort of straightened with a bit of wave in it as well. It's almost like just a casual sort of beachy wave. And this is my favorite look with the ear wrap. And I would say that I use the ear wrap nearly every single day. It's definitely one of my favorite tools, especially for making these really beautiful soft curls. Or as I just said earlier, the other way that I use it is I put a brush attachment on it and you can also do a blowout using that as well to initially straighten your hair if you want to. You're not gonna get it straight like you do with the straighteners. It's quite nice because you get your hair straight but it leaves a little bit of volume in it as well. And I have done a video on that, how I use the brush attachment to give a blowout with my curly hair. So if I remember, I will put a link to that above here as well if you want to take a look at that. I am loving the full face of makeup that I did today. I wanted to use products that you'd be able to get at Sephora in the United States, but also a look that is my everyday look and a really soft, pretty eyeshadow. The Natasha Denona blush is absolutely gorgeous. I think it's beautiful. The NARS foundation just works beautifully with my oily skin. I also think that foundation would be really good for normal to dry skin as well. And the Guerlain bronzers are one of my favorites and I love layering both of those different shades. I think it looks really lovely. And this Dior lipstick is just a really beautiful nude, everyday type of lipstick and the type of shade that I wear every day. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. I really liked putting it together. I'm very jealous that there's a whole lot of products that you get in Sephora over there that we don't get here. And I hope that you have a lot of fun deciding what you're going to get in the sale. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye.